Hello class, this is Mrs Cook and we're going to do today an experiment on thermistors for our physics tube experiment. This is a thermistor, this is a symbol you may have seen before that we're going to be using today. A thermistor is just a temperature resistor. Therm meaning temperature, is the term that they put on the end of resistors. I have here a thermistor. This blue circle down here is the actual thermistor. It's attached to a circuit board and we've sellotaped it very skillfully to a thermometer so we're able to read the temperature and see what the thermistor is detecting at the same time. You will also be using today a multimeter. These meters can measure a different range of values, voltage, amps and resistance which you're going to be looking at today and we need to set this to the 20k reading, so that's 20,000 and it's measured in ohms because that's resistance. If I then attach this to my thermistor using the crocodile clips, I should get a reading on the thermistor. Now what we're going to do, we're going to introduce some different temperatures. I'm going to go get some boiling water from my kettle. It doesn't have to be 100 degrees, but you need to do a range of temperatures, so it's worthwhile trying to start at about 80 or 90 degrees. Be careful, obviously, the water will be hot. Then what you need to do is take your thermistor and you're just going to place it so just the thermistor's under the water. Try not to get the circuit board in. Just place the thermistor, the blue part, underneath the water and the temperature on the thermometer is going to start to go up. So I'll just turn this around. So the temperature reading is going to go up and when the thermometer reads the correct temperature, so when it finishes moving, nearly there, just under 80 I think, so when the thermometer finishes reading, what you're going to do is you're going to do two things. You're going to take a reading, so that is 81 on my temperature, and you're also going to take a reading from the multimeter. You can see it's fluctuating a little bit. It will do that. What you have to do is basically pick a number and stick to it. So I'm going to go with 0.44. So all I'm going to do is record this into my results table. So the temperature was 81, and the resistance was 0.44. What I need to do now is let the water cool down. There's one of two ways I can do that. Pretend it's my cup of tea. Put my glass of steam up. You can also add cold water. It doesn't matter how much water you end up with because we're not, that doesn't need to be one of our control variables. So add some cold water, cool it down a bit more, do maybe 70, 60, 50, 40, and get a range of temperatures. The next task you'll be given to do in class is to identify the temperature of water from the resistance alone. 